Sit on top of all your enemies, everybody. Now, this year of height over and above. And this month, we are talking about fulfilling your priestly ministry in order to experience height over and above. Which means if you want the word of God for us this year to become expressed through your life, do one thing. Give attention to your priestly ministry and do all you can to fulfill it. Everybody give me your attention. Don't allow your neighbor to talk to you. Till your neighbor eyes front. So this morning we dedicated it. First service we said the same thing but not the same message. Second service we shared the same thing but not the same message. And this third service the same thing but not the same message. We're looking at God's ultimate vision. God's ultimate vision. Exodus 19. That's our text for today. Exodus 19. 3 to 6. The Bible said, And Moses went unto God, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say unto the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bade thee on my eagle's wings, and brought you to myself. Now therefore, I, now therefore, if thou will obey my voice indeed, and keep my commandments, then I will, then you shall be for me a peculiar treasure above all the people, for all the earth is mine, and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests, and holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. May God bless his word. Now, I'll go straight. We've said so much about this verse of scripture, but there's still something to say about it. Now, from these few scriptures we read now, there are few things God was expecting from the office of the priesthood. If you're going to fulfill priesthood, there are few things God expects from you. And you know that when you know the expected, you will attract the desired. The desired of you from God is tied to the expected of you from God. Can I say it again? Write it down. When you know the expected of you from God, you will attract the desired of you from God. So when you know what God expects from you and you supply to it, that which you desire from God also shall be released unto you. Like, ladies and gentlemen, I know most of us here, you are desiring something from God. We fast because we desire something from God. Bible said, what, uh, whatsoever you desire, when you pray, believe that you've received it and you shall have it. So which means we can't pray, we can't fast, we can't serve God until there's a desire. Now, it is when you know that desired of God, that is when the expected of you from God will be delivered. So God began making Israel know that there is a desired of God from them that will qualify them to have the expected of them from God. So we are going to be looking just a few of them of the desired of God from the priesthood. Now remember I told you that everyone that left Egypt, God expects them to be priests. Everyone that was brought out of the rulership of Pharaoh God was expecting them. God said, well, remember how I brought you out of Egypt. How I bared thee up with my eagle's wings and brought you to myself. So actually when they left Egypt, God was the one who brought them out. It wasn't Moses. God was with Moses or God was in Moses bringing them out to where? To himself. So when God said to him, well, I'm bringing you to the land of Mecca, honey, it was actually to himself that God was bringing them to. So it was not the Mecca, honey, there was God. Even though it was a land. Do you know that if God be not in the land, milk will not be in that land. That milk is in your land is because God is in your land. That milk or honey is in your land is because God was in the land. If God be not in the land, you see salt. 
if God be not in the land, you will see Zumarok. It will be dry. It is God in the land that makes the land good. So he was bringing them to the land of milk and honey. Hear me? That milk and honey was God. Anywhere God is, milk will be there. <laughs> honey will be there. Is milk not God's word? Milk is God's word. Have you forgotten what the Bible said? As new babes desire the sincere milk of the word of God. So you can't talk about milk without talking about God. Is it honey? Gadi Bojahash. Bible says that the word of God is sweeter than honey. So honey is in him. You understand? So milk is in God. Honey is in God. So when God said, I'm bringing you to the land of milk and honey, he's actually saying, well, fulfilling this verse of scripture says, I bear thee upon my eagle's wings and I brought you to myself. So bringing you to myself means, means bringing you to the place of honey. Are you looking for honey? God can give it for you to suck. Are you, are, are you looking for milk? <laughs> God can give it to you to seek. So to, 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 to taste. I prophesied to somebody today. This year, 2021, you will enjoy milk. And you will enjoy honey. That ain't meant to be made better. Than. God was actually bringing them to himself. God was bringing them to himself. God wasn't taking them to a land. No. A land without God is a useless land. Because it's God in the land that makes the land fruitful. He wasn't just saying it was not an empty land. No, it was not an empty land. It was it was a type. God was trying, it's a metaphor. God was trying to unveil dimensions to them. Hear me. When God speaks, there are dimensions in the speakings of God. God doesn't speak like a man. When God calls a land, God will not call a land a land. What God calls has mysteries. God is not a man, he can't talk like man. When God speaks, he speaks his language. His language to you may mean something. But what it means to you may not be what it means in God. Land of milk and honey. And here scripture says, I carried you on my ego's wings and I brought you to myself. So milk and honey was God. Global to Jesus. No, that's not my assignment. I don't want to go that axis. I want to be straight. This verse of scriptures reveals the things God expects from the office of a priest. Number one. And Moses went up unto God and the Lord called him out of the mountain saying Thus says the God unto the house of Jacob Ye have seen what I have done to Egyptians. How I bear thee up with my gold wings and brought you to myself. You have seen. You have seen. When you've seen the goodness of God, what do you do? When you've seen the help of God, what do you do? If suddenly God delivered you from poverty, what will you do? If suddenly God delivered you from a tax master called, called Pharaoh, what will you do? If suddenly God delivered you from the back side and brought you to the front side, what will you do? If suddenly you used to beg to eat, suddenly God make you, made you someone that had enough, what will you do? Ladies and gentlemen, there is one thing that we must do. In the days we see the hand of God doing for us what we can do for ourselves. In the day we see the hand of God doing for us what no man can do for us. One thing is expected of you. Stand up on your feet and begin to give him all the praise that belong to him. Ladies and gentlemen, appreciation and thanksgiving is the key. God was saying, well, see the things I've done for you. Do something now. Rise up in appreciating me. Ladies and gentlemen, appreciation is what is expected in the days of visitation anytime god visits you hey don't take the visitations of god for granted don't take the doings of god for granted don't think it's all about me ladies and gentlemen bible says for thou shall remember that it is the lord your god that given it the power to get wealth if you get it god helped you if god didn't help you you can't get it ladies and gentlemen where you are today is a proof of god's help where you are today is a proof of god's help that you can have one thing after another you can have blessings in successions you can pass the exams you just got married you used to take before but now you can drive you used to be a beggar now you can have 
have enough. You used to serve men now. You are no more serving men, men are now serving you. Ladies and gentlemen, anytime you come to where you are, that is better than where you used to be, you must know that it is God. And if it be God, do one thing. Give him the praise due to his name. One thing they need to do, offer him thanks. Priesthood is an office of appreciation. Because you can't make yourself if God does not make you. Hebrews put it this way, that the priest is a man selected among his people. So if among your people, God suddenly selected you. Among your king folk, God suddenly selected you. Among your mates, God suddenly selected you. You know how you came to Accra. Your age mates in Accra, suddenly God selected you and lifted you. Ladies and gentlemen, if you look at how God lifted you, your head is now taller than those who naturally are taller than you. Child of God, rise on your feet and give him the praise. God was expecting that they shouldn't take for granted the things he has done for them. Many of us are like that. We easily take for granted the things God has done for us because we thought... It was the man that helped us, that actually helped us. You forgot that if God does not help you, no man can assist you. Assistance from men is a proof that God supported you. Anytime God wants to do it, it's a man that he will use. God uses men, but men must not be glorified. Every glory must go back to God. You are not because you are. You are because God helped you. Child of God, close your eyes. Bible says, my praise will I not give to another. My glory will I not share with anybody. Anyone that assisted you, hear me and hear me well. It is because God moved your heart. If God had not moved your heart, they cannot move you forward. A man will move you forward because God moved them for to move you. See what I've done. How I carried you on my ego's wings. See what I've done. What I did to Pharaoh. How I gave Moses your leader a rod. And with that rod, he struck the waters. The waters got open. He walked on the dry land. Even though sea was there. God divided the sea. The wall of the sea was this side. Standing like standard bank. On the other side, the wall was also standing. In between the two waters was standing was a freeway. Those who saw river in a split second saw a dry land. They saw a river. It was impossible to pass by. But suddenly, God entered into river. When God entered into river, river split it. Men that saw river, saw empty ground. River couldn't stop you. River would have drowned you. But I stopped river and I gave you empty land to walk by. Ladies and gentlemen, when you see the wonders of God, what are you meant to do? Don't take it for granted. Don't just think my intelligence. Don't think it was the road of Moses. It was me! And if it be me, do one thing. Do one thing. Give me some appreciation. Give me some praise. Give me some praise. It's not your intelligence. Bible said, lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge the Lord. Your intelligence will have failed you. Your grammar will have been an error. Your error cut up about God. Instead of, instead of allowing men to see the grammatic error in your sentence, he confused their mind. As you are speaking jargons, God concluded their mind. Their mind began to think anti-clockwise. You said it was white. They had it is white. And they gave you a pass mark. It wasn't you at all. Your mistake. God made your mistake to become a little style. It wasn't you at all. Side of God, never you own it to yourself. Never you own because I was so handsome. I was able to speak the grammar. That was why the lady fought for me. No, 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 no. A thousand times no. That same lady has has rejected people that are better than you. People whose pocket was speaking was speaking volumes better than you. That lady would have said no to many. But how come when you appear, she fall like what buckle buckle? She fall like what a leaf. She just she just gave you everything. It's because the hand of God was upon you. If God didn't follow you to go, she will have locked the door against you and you can still do nothing about it. Anytime you see the goodness of God, rise on your feet, square your shoulders, brace yourself, lift your hands, shout a shout of praise unto God. Shaka Badabaha. I beard in my hands. I helped you. What are you expected to do now? Offer me the praise. How come you saw 2021? You never died in 2020. How come you saw the end of February? You saw the end of January. You are now in February. How come you lost that job and got another one? How come? How come? How come? How come? When it was time for rent, there was no money. But two days to rent, money came. 
how come how come before marriage you were poor pocket was empty but one month before the marriage money entered your pocket you thought it's by power it's not by power not by might but there's an anointing that was supplied he anoints my head with oil and my cup runneth over surely god's goodness and mercy he's just following me i don't know who i'm talking to this house but hear me hear me well anywhere you see yourself it is god see yourself on the phone of bed it is god see yourself driving now it is god see yourself see yourself brother owning an empire it is god see yourself from the back side to the front side it is god somebody scream it has been god it will continue to be god and because it is god i will give him all the praise as a priest of god god expects you to appreciate whatever he has done somebody write it down those that appreciate can never depreciate. The easiest way to secure yourself from depreciating is that you consistently appreciate. Not only God, learn to appreciate men. Learn to appreciate men who assisted you. Don't take anybody's assistance for granted. You may say the person didn't give you too much. He gave you a little. Can I shock you? A million dollar minus one dollar cannot be a million dollar. So the man that gave you one dollar to complete the million has contributed to you. <laughs> Somebody may not give you money, but he gave you advice. Some of you may not give you advice, but he gave you a smiling face. Your life was getting, was getting ostracized, was getting afflicted, was getting troubled. You had nobody to love you. But here come this person that walked before you and just give you a smile. His smile sends something in your heart. His smile makes you begin to feel somebody can still love me. Ladies and gentlemen, there is men may not give you what you want but there's something that a man will give to you no matter how small it is don't 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 take it for granted don't take it for granted if you want to see god do more don't take the things god is doing for granted if you wake up in the morning know that it's because god sustained you the psalmist says i sleep and wake up because god sustained me therefore my voice will go here in the morning why will i raise my voice in the morning because i know i slept many things will have happened but god kept me while i slept woke me up the next morning if i woke the next morning what do you think i should do i should open my mouth and give him praise i know i used to serve the devil i used to serve the devil i used to be sickly i used to be poor but suddenly god stepped in and delivered me from the hand of pharaoh if god has delivered me what should i do now i should serve him and give him my, my, my service and as i serve him i'm actually telling him lord you never allowed me to continue serving pharaoh you brought me out of pharaoh unto yourself if i have served pharaoh i will also serve you how will i serve him in serving him i show him i appreciate that he never allowed me to remain under pharaoh somebody appreciate him make living a thankful life your normal life even when it's not working Few weeks ago, we needed to buy something that, that what about 5,000 cities in the new site, and the money wasn't there. Peter was calling me, didn't know. Carpenter was calling me. I entered my office. I spoke in tongues. Makika kriba loro ba kadiza over pufa city gigi giga. I said the same, Father. Thank you. Thank you. I quit worrying. Thank you. Thank you. And after a while, I, I checked the time. It was time to go pick my children from school. So I drove to pick my children from school. As I picked them and got to the house, somebody texted me and said, Sir, I came to see you in the office. They say you went out. Sir, please, with all due respect, I want to see you. And I know the person. I know the person. I said, if you want to see me, I'm available, you will see me. I came back to the office. He says, I'm on my way coming. I say, well, I'm in the office now. When he walked in, he said to me, Daddy, actually, actually, you see, when it's not working, 
you can make it work by thanking he that will make it to work. A thank giving in advance is faith in reality. When you learn to start thanking, you are demonstrating your faith. And Bible says that without faith, it's impossible to please God. Which means if you begin to thank God and you're demonstrating faith, you begin to please God. And by pleasing God, God will drop prosperity on your head. When it's not working, don't cry. When it's not working, don't complain. When it's not working, switch to thanksgiving. I found that it works. It works. I thank God so much that even when I wake up, the first thing that comes out of my mouth is, thank you, Jesus. I say thank you, Jesus, until my wife become converted unto that. When I wake up, the first thing that, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the toilet, thank you, Jesus. I, I have learned to say thank you, Jesus, so much that even when you bring me food, I will thank you. By learning to thank God, I learn to thank man. Ask protocol people that follow me to the office. If you carry my Bible, ask, ask them. If you follow me, I wouldn't even know when I tell you, oh, thank you. It's by learning to thank God that I learn to appreciate men. And you know, if you want to have men around you, be the one that appreciates men. If you want to lose men, be the one that take men's sacrifice around you for granted. You will lose men and you die alone. So this young man walked up to me and said, well, he said, sir, a few days ago you were teaching and you are teaching on sacrifice my heart was being moved and I had God telling me to do something can I shock you he said and God told me he didn't know what I was looking for he didn't know what I was believing God for but as I was thanking God God was working you want to make God you want to see God walk thank him Thanksgiving is the wheels that puts God on a working mood. Say to me, he said, I, I had in my spirit, I should bring you an envelope. I brought it, I prayed for him, I blessed him. He walked away. Men and brethren, as I opened the envelope, I saw 5,000 cash. Cash, 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 cash. And now sat on my chair. I said, What did I do? The Holy Ghost reminded me. He said, You thanked me. He said, You can't thank me without me giving you a testimony. The pathway to testimonies is thanksgiving. Have you wondered why the Bible said thanksgiving must back every prayer? Be not anxious about everything, but in everything by prayer supplication with so thanksgiving is the accompanying force to prayer do not be anxious about anything but in everything don't be anxious about anything but in everything anything everything anything everything anything everything by prayer supplication with so he didn't say by prayer by supplication by thanksgiving no he said by prayer, supplication, with, with, with. So it is the auxiliary to prayer. It is the support to prayer. It is the backbone to prayer. Which means your prayer will lack the vitality to bring answer. If it's lacking the vitamins. Can I put it this way? Thanksgiving is the vitamins to prayer. Vitamins to prayer. So vitalize your prayer with thanksgiving. <laughs> You want your prayer to work? Hear me again. Vitalize your prayer with thanksgiving. God give me quilly quilly. God give me pamoy. God give me bredo. God give me brodo. God give. After all the brodo and the quilly quilly, back it up with thanksgiving. If thanksgiving backs it, it will achieve something for you. There are people who only pray, they don't thank. And even when God has done it, they don't thank. Thanksgiving is at the two phases of life. The face of thanksgiving. The face of asking. Thanksgiving. The face of receiving. Thanksgiving. At the both ends of life, thankfulness must be there. At the place of asking, thank him to reveal faith. At the place of receiving, thank him to show gratitude. 
When you thank him before receiving, it is faith. When you thank him after receiving, it is called gratitude. Somebody power your life. God said to them, well, you saw how I dealt with Egypt. You saw how I brought you to myself. You saw how I carried you on the eagle's wings. I thought you must have seen all I did. Do one thing. Be thankful. Has God done anything good for you? I know you are sick, but you didn't die. Somebody was not as sickly as you are, he died. I know you have migraine. Somebody only had a headache. Headache is a general to migraine. At headache, he died, but you had migraine, you are still alive. It means that if you can thank him with the migraine, the killer of sickness will heal you. I don't know who I'm talking to in this house. Cultivate the habit of consistently living a thankful life consistently live a thankful life lift your hand and say father i receive that grace say it again i receive that grace to consistently live a thankful life say it again lord i receive grace lord i receive grace never to complain never to be sad never to cry never to look for who to talk to but lord to learn this habit thanking you at all times Thank you, precious Father. The psalmist said something in Psalms 34 and verse number 1. The Bible said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. For I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from my fears. They looked up to him and we are lighted and their faces were not ashamed. The poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of his troubles. The angels of the Lord encamped round about them that feared the Lord and delivered him from all his troubles. Ladies and gentlemen, I will bless the Lord at all times. At all times. Not that sometimes. Most of us have cultivated the habit of when God bless me, I will thank him. But here, yeah, I'm changing your theory. Even with, before the blessing comes, begin to thank God in expectation. If you can thank him enough, you are releasing faith enough. And if you can thank him enough, I'll guarantee you, you will be amazed. Things will turn around for you. Two days ago, after our night, um, uh, our connection to the altar, somebody was, was telling you, that she wants to talk to me. So when I got into my bedroom, somebody has written, I was telling me, man of God, I joined your prayer tonight. This is the first time I was really blessed. I've not prayed like that before. I really pray, pray tonight. And I want to say thank you. But my life is in misery. I, I am suffering of this. I have this situation. He was just writing. And I was reading. I don't want. I was reading. I was reading. I was reading. I, if you want to catch my best, bring problem. My body responds to problems. Sleep would disappear from my eyes. I was giving attention, giving attention. He was just writing. I was just telling him, don't worry to be well. Don't worry. I should pray now to be well. And do you know the truth? We, when he finished, I wanted to call him. The Holy Ghost said, don't call him. Type the prayer. I typed it. At the end of it, I said, from today, that evil is over. I said, you've not been sleeping, but now you will sleep. And you wake up tomorrow morning with no trace of that witchcraft suppression. Do you know, the next morning he sent me a message. He said, sir, when you prayed, the thing ceased. And he said, he said, it ceased. And I slept like a baby and I woke up this morning with no trace of it. You know, when I send the prayer on my own, I jumped out of my bed. I, I walked around and I said, Father, thank you. You've done it. Father, thank you. I took like five minutes. Walk around my bedroom saying, Father, thank you. Father, thank you. You've done it. Father, thank you. You've done it. Have you wondered that there's nobody I prayed for in this house that wasn't healed? Is it true? Is there any case that came to this house that I prayed for? Whether I, whether here, yeah, that was not healed. Is there any? There was none. Even the day a man came with on, 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 a, on a wheelchair, 
I didn't want to go. But I didn't know when I went. And when I prayed, the man stood up. All of us were here. Even last two Wednesdays, the lady that had uh, cancer, the thing was swollen up. I, I, I went there, I laid down, bring her here, prayed for her, fell down, prayed for her. The thing disappeared here. Do you know why? Do you know why? When I see cases bigger than me, my heart starts thanking. I learned it from Jesus. See, Bible said Jesus was at the tomb of Lazarus, at the tomb of Lazarus. Who has ever called a man that was dead for four days? Not just dead, a man that was dead, buried for four days. Who has ever called him out of grief? And the man came out of grief. I learned it was the only man that could give thanks in the midst of dead issues. Before Lazarus, Jesus said, Father, I thank you. Who has ever prayed like that? Somebody will say, God, bring Lazarus, then I will thank you. If, if Lazarus will come now, I'll thank you. God, Lazarus. If, if, if Lazarus will come now, <laughs> I learned it when I was 19. That when you are in the presence of things you cannot handle, don't complain. Don't cry. Begin to give thanks about it. In thanking God who can handle it, he will arise and handle it. I know there's no money in your pocket now. But can you begin to thank him? I know the things you're looking for, you've not gotten them. Can you begin to thank him? In thanking him, he will take you through for your breakthrough. Tankers are takers. That's for somebody. Can I say it again? Tankers are takers. You want to take? Become a tanker. Learn to consistently tank. And you'll be amazed that taking things from God will be a consistent level around you. I pray for somebody. This grace will follow you. In Jesus. Mighty name. I feel like stopping here. I have about five of them. I have walking in obedience. I have walking as a peculiar treasure. I have been the priest. I have the ministry of reconciliation. But I think one is enough for you for today. As you are clapping, remember somebody too will clap for you. As you are standing too, somebody will also stand to bless you. Somebody lift your hand and just bless the Lord. Everybody lift your hand and just bless the Lord. Father, we give you thanks and praise and glory and honor. Somebody lift your hand and just thank him. Looking at what God has done for you. Looking at where you are now. As a priest, you don't complain. As a priest, you don't murmur. As a priest, you don't compete. As a priest, you have one life. Thank you, name. Can you behave like a priest now? Close your eyes on what is not working. Close your eyes on those death things. Close your eyes on those things that look impossible. Those outside, stand on your feet, everybody outside. And lift your hand in a moment and begin to say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I sing the way you love me, oh. No one else will love me so, 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 so. The way you love me, oh. I got my poor hallelujah, sorogi, 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 sorogi. The way you love me, oh. No one else will love me so. So, 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 the way you love me, oh, uh huh. I got my full hallelujah, so rogi. Oh, so rogi, so rogi, so rogi. Okay, now. I wonder what you never do. Even though they say you love me, oh, I wonder what you never do. Even though they say. You died for me. Again, let's go again. I wonder what till I for do. If not be say you love me, oh I wonder what till I for do. If not be say you die for me. Uh-huh. I gotta follow you, they go. Follow you, they go. 
we follow you, they dance. We follow you, they clap. You don't be where. I got to follow you, they go. We follow you, they go. We follow you, they dance. We follow you, they clap. You don't be where. Okay, now. The way you love me, yo. No one else will love me so. So, so, so. The way you love me, yo. Uh-huh. I got me pure hallelujah, so lucky. So lucky, so lucky, so lucky. The way you love me, yo. That's God love you. No one else can love me so. So, so, so. The way you love me, yo. Hallelujah, so lucky, so lucky, so lucky, so lucky. Oh, I wonder who is it about you? And if nobody say you love me, oh, I wonder who is it about you? And if nobody say you die for me, oh, I wonder where you go. Oh, follow you, they dance, follow you, they clap. Follow you the ground, you've done me well. Yeah. Hallelujah. You see, God gave me this song one day. You know, you know one day I told us that I, I went to see someone in the hospital. Remember, when we were driving, I saw the car I'm using now. Parked in front. I told my mother, I, I like this car. I just like this car. But I don't get money for the car. We walked past the car. That one was white. Walked past the car. That week, a company came and sold the car to me at my price. You are part of it. You are part of it. Mama, too, you are part of it. So, <laughs> so one day I woke up in the morning. I was just thanking God. I went to see the car. I was just a guy. So I'm the owner of this car now. I was asked, how did it happen? So suddenly, he started coming to my heart. The way you love me, oh. No one else will love me so. So, so, so. The way you love me, oh. Uh, I got my poor hallelujah. So, 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 so. I said, what? I wonder, what did I for do? If not be said, you love me, oh. I wonder if nobody say died for me. Now I gotta follow you. See with you. Follow you, they follow you, they dance. Follow you, they clap. You've done me well. I gotta follow you, they go. Somebody give a lot of shout! May God bless you. May God enlarge you. May God increase you. In the name of Jesus. Now, one of the ways you can prove to God, or one of the things you can use to thank God, is by knowing that the same way Israel served Pharaoh, the easiest way to appreciate God, and that was why he made them priests. Is that the way they served Pharaoh, they should also serve him. If Pharaoh was a bad king and Israel served Pharaoh and God delivered them from the hand of Pharaoh, God expects them to be appreciative of what he has done. And how would they show God they appreciate? Is by saying, You that delivered us from the power of Pharaoh, we will serve you. Serving him is one of the ways to show him, I am glad. That you gave me salvation. I am glad. That I was nobody. Suddenly you made me somebody. I couldn't marry. Suddenly you gave me marriage. I used to beg to eat. But suddenly you made my house full of food. I used to be struggling. But suddenly you brought me to come forth. I will serve you. To he much is given. Much is expected. To he much is given. Much is expected. Anything God has done. Give him the I told us how I didn't do my my uh, insurance, and here comes police by a digono. And when I saw police, my heart jumped. They may you understand. Did I say anything? 
But they may. So suddenly, as I was approaching, expecting they would stop me. They looked at me. I was just coming. They say like this. I stop. They say go. <sighs> I was so excited. And as I was driving, I started saying, no man can do for me the things you've done for me. I say, no man. Hey, no man. You see, you see, you see, because of what he has done for me, I began to respond. You must learn to respond based on the thing God has done. God has given you health. That health is not just for you. You're meant to use it to serve him. Now, anywhere I sang that song, life shifts. I like it this morning if you're here and you know God has done you good. I like it to appreciate him by signing up to serving him.